This is Ricky the Hitman Atten, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, and with me down at the Shoebox Boxing Gym in Northampton. I'd like to be joined by Ben Vaughan. Ben, how you doing, mate? Yes, mate, I'm doing great, mate. How are you? Very well, thank you very much for asking. Um, a new pro boxer in the super lightweight division, um, signed by MTK Global as well. Yeah. What can you tell us about your pro debut? When can we expect to see you out in the ring? So, at the moment, we're still going through from my medicals, but as soon as that's all done, I'd like to be out, get out ASAP. I can really do a four or six rounder straight away. You've picked one of the hardest divisions to jump into, though, that's for sure. Definitely, yeah, you can say it's one of the hardest, but if you just want to be the, be the greatest, you've got to fight the great, so... 100%. Um, let's just talk a bit about your amateur background before we jump into what you're looking to achieve in the pros. Um, just talk to us about what your achievements were in the amateur backgrounds, and is there any notable names on your amateur record that we might know that you fought? So, in my amateur career, I've been a five-time national champion, two-times British champion of... Uh, Competed at the Youth Commonwealth Games. I've boxed uh, boxers like John Johnson, uh, Tyler Jolly, uh, Lee Reeves, Paddy Donovan, boxers like them. So quite a good amateur background experience boxers I've boxed. So I'm just ready to take this pro game. Jumping into the pros, been signed by probably the best management company in the world in MTK Global. Everything's working out for you very nicely. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's where I want to be at the moment in my uh, professional career. Like I said, with one of the best best uh, management teams at MT MTK Global. So I just want to get this pro career started and just, uh, just roll on bring, on, bring on my debut. I've been at this gym now for a couple of hours. I've seen the togetherness. It looks like a nice little team here that James has got, you know, obviously working with James's son, Kieran Conway, Ethan James, of course, you know, Mike Stevenson, you know, Dempsey as well. You know, how much, of, how much importance is it for you to at the early stages of your career that you're working with a good team such as the guys down here at Shoebox? Well you can see well because as you see Kieran and Ethan have, have, have been down at Pro and so is uh, Michael so it's good just to ask them for advice just pick up things we're doing even inspiring just ask or oh, how have you done that even when Kieran inspired uh, uh, Troy Williamson I was just watching there just analysing what they were doing it was just just good actually just step back and actually be in the ring sparring so it was actually just good, good just to pick up information that, that I can actually see and not actually get yelled at and stuff like that here. <laughs> Super lightweight division, very exciting one, but of course still the early stages, we're still waiting for that pro debut and as I've said to the other fighters, this pandemic situation has slowed down a lot of things, but what are the plans for 2021? How many times can we expect to see you out in the ring and what are you looking to sort of achieve within the first 18 months of your professional career? So, like I said, like, like, in 2021, let's hope this uh, lockdown and pandemic's finished, we have fans to come back in. I'd like to be out probably three or four, maybe even more, more times this year. Within the 18 months, just, well, I'll just take each fight at, uh, at a time and just progress through the, through, through the pro ranks and see around in 18 months. And if I'm ready for a title, I'll take the title straight away. But if I'm not, I'll just keep progressing, keep learning, keep improving and just see where I am. Growing up as, as a young lad, um, now you've obviously turned pro, you must have watched a, a lot of boxing in your day. Um, I know I did as well, I still do, I'm always up late watching great classical fights, but which fight is it that you looked up to one day and thought, yeah, I would love to have a career like him? There, 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 there's a few. You could say Joe Kawasaki, I've uh, looked at, I've got a, kind of like a style like his, quite a high tempo, just ferocious, a lot of high work rate then. You want, don't want to compare yourself to one boxer, I would say I want to be a bit, bit like Manny Pacquiao. You can say that there's a lot of boxers that you want to compare yourself and just try and mould a boxer around different types of many, many boxers. So, yeah, it's too many to choose from. But if I wanted to pick one boxer, I'd say Joe jo Calzaghe. Massive inspiration, 46 and 0, um, former world champion, you know, considered one of the best fighters to come out of uh, the United Kingdom. He had a, he had a great career. Um, obviously, when you look at these fighters, you you definitely must be thinking to yourself that yeah, if I can have a career like him, I'll be a very very lucky man in this sport. Exactly, yeah. So like I said, I was a world champion. He was 46 and 0. But like I said, well, that's uh, that's my end end of the career at the moment. I'll just take one fight at a time, just learn and improve each fight, and then hopefully in the well, however long it takes me to get up there, just be the best boxer and just achieve what what I want to achieve, be world champion. 
this is such a good time oh, well i say a good time let's you know minus the whole pandemic out of that but british boxing has got some great fighters coming through you know even from this gym you know you look at kieran as well ethan then you look at the likes of dennis mccann you know there's so many young good good prospects coming through david adley you know how how happy is it for you that you know that you're coming through at a time where british boxing is really on a massive massive high because of the talent that it's producing we well, say it's good it's a good thing that at the moment is a lot of good British uh, British well, boxers come through the pro ranks. It's quite good to say that I can share share the ring or share professional ranks with them. So it's a, it's a, like I said, it's a privilege. What are we going to see from you in 2021? So an exciting, explosive, high working rate, something that the fans were definitely going to enjoy in 2021, if they're back in 2021 that is. Fingers crossed, not only just in boxing but also football exactly. as well. <laughs> right, Ben, well, listen, mate, we wish you the best of luck for the start of your professional career and, of course, throughout. Uh, thank you very much for your time, thank you for joining us, and fingers crossed we'll get to see you in the ring soon. Thank you very much, cheers, thank you. Ben Vaughan, thank you for talking to Lights Out, mate. Mm -hmm.